Data-driven teachers not only review and interpret data, but they make immediate use of the data they've collected in order to plan next steps in their instruction and to provide feedback for students to retool their thinking. Data-driven teachers are obsessive data collectors. Teachers who are data-driven routinely assess where their students are in their learning, often on a daily basis. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. What teacher gives tests and quizzes every day? But just keep in mind, what is data? Data is so much more than quantitative measures that we collect from tests and quizzes. Data is simply information, useful information. That is, any information that can be used to help us make the best decisions about next steps in instruction. That's data-driven. Now certainly, data-driven teachers make good use of quick checks through multiple choice quizzes and assessments in order to quickly and efficiently collect a quick snapshot of student data. However, students benefit most when they are provided with learning experiences and opportunities in which they can demonstrate their thinking and their learning within a variety of modalities beyond the simple multiple choice quiz or test form. One of the easiest ways to do this is through low stakes writing, such as quick writes and bell ringers, exit slips, facilitated class discussions and blogs, all of these are simple ways for students to get their thoughts out of their head and into a visible medium for their reflection and for meaningful teacher data collection. One of the most practical tools that I've observed used for collecting data in the classrooms of data-driven teachers is a simple clipboard. As the teacher moved about the room listening to the conversations of students working in groups, partners, or even by themselves, the teacher would write anecdotal notes based on the conversations of the students. And when the class reconvened for whole group discussion, those notes will provide valuable data to ask just the right questions and also for future lesson planning and instructional design. Without the collection of quality data, it's nearly impossible to provide students with quality feedback, which of course is the primary reason why we give assessments in the first place. Without feedback, how will they know what to do differently or how will they know what to adjust or how to retool their thinking?